Hello up on set, Creative Sound, Creative University. In this video, let's talk about the deesser. This is not an exciting feature. However, this is a feature that we should have had in Studio One Six or Studio One, period. A long time ago, but it's here in Studio One Six. It's exciting to people like me because I am a mixed engineer and so I don't have to reach for a third party. I could just keep right here and might I say, personas does have their own ways of doing things like this. You know, even though this is something we supposed to have a long time ago. But when they finally get around to stuff like this, they have their own way of doing things. So if we are listening to this track, we're, again, we're doing drums, acoustic drums. And we're talking about the DSer. Now, the DSer is is a plugin that handles harsh syllables, S's and sometimes plosives, I might I add. But anything that's kind of harsh in the high pitch range. And there are several out here already. I like to use one by waves, but we have one in here. So I'm using this DS on the overhead, which is a mic or two mics that's hovered over the drums specifically to catch the cymbals, the crashes, and the ride. It catches at the entire drum, which sometimes it acts as a close room mic, which is kind of cool, but its sole job, those mics, that is, is to catch the cymbals, and sometimes those cymbals come through a little bit too harsh. So we're using the de to handle this. So if I was inclined to solo this here, we can go ahead and see what it sounds like. Let's deactivate everything, or the DSers, that is. And you might need to put on some headphones. I forgot to mention that. All right, so now let's activate the DSers. All right, so we took care of the piercing crash sounds. So the idea, the concept here is that the de is not acting as a EQ. However, it acts as a frequency grabber, if I must say. It grabs a certain frequency at that point and it like kind of tames it a little bit better, kind of narrow things and like make it less harsh while keeping the tone of that actual signal that's going through these channels. So anyway, let's grab an additional DSer, and I, I'm going to deactivate the previous ones because I don't want to mess up my preset. I got it so sweet right now. So if I'm pulling up this DSer, we if we play with it right quick, I'm just going to go with this one. We could change some of the settings say wide. When you go this way, you're definitely reducing. That doesn't sound too natural to me, so I like the narrow a lot better. That might be too much, so we're gonna dial back. Also, we could switch between full and gentle here. I felt like the gentle was a little bit more natural sounding, you know, just a tad bit of touch to give me that sweet sound that I was looking for. And also we can adjust what frequency that we are affecting by turning this frequency knob here. You just got to find that sweet spot. You know what I mean? You can solo and see exactly what it's doing. So when you turn on the solo, you're hearing exactly what you are essentially attenuating, so to speak, or affecting in this case, because it's a DS or not a dynamic EQ, because we did a video talking about attenuating with the new dynamic EQ. Welcome. Welcome to Studio One Six. So there, there is other presets in here. 
to get you started, if you don't really know how to use a de-esser, typically just think of a de-esser as a way to, uh, it's, it's a tool that helps. I usually use a de-esser on vocal, you know, sometimes S's and S-H sounds, sh, or s, syllables that are harsh or anything. I've used the de on several things and the de is a lifesaver, I, might, might I say. So instead of like manually attenuating some things or even trying to EQ certain things, like you, there is no way you can EQ S's out. It's, that's what the de is here for. But so, sometimes you can do these things manually, but you know, when you got a de it just makes life a whole lot better, hence the dynamic EQ, because it just does things for us. So, yeah, so you have these different presets you can choose between. And I have a setting that I like. So let's, I'm going to deactivate these. Let's listen to both of these again without any DSing. Now with the DSer on. I just feel like it tames it a lot better. So now let's solo the entire drums. Let's deactivate. As you can hear, it's much more harsh without any DSing on there. So now I'm back, turn it back on. Totally better to me. I like the new DSer. I mean, it's simple. It's, so DS, you should be subscribed right now because we will be doing more videos like this, covering different things over time. Like the video. I appreciate likes. Yes, indeed. I'm Ella, Creative Sound, Creative University. Remember music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules, guys.